hello friends today we are going to discuss about the periodic table and unending proof we are starting from the antony levoisier antony levoisier did not directly contribute to the development of the periodic table as we know it but the modern periodic table was developed by dimitri mendeleev and others in the 19th century after levoisier's time Lavoisier's contribution to the chemistry was more focused on chemical reactions, the discovery of the new elements like oxygen, and the development of fundamental principles such as the law of conservation, mass, and law of definite proportion. The other contributions is of John J. Berzelius. So John Jacob Berzelius was a Swedish chemist who is considered one of the founder of modern chemistry. Berzelius made several important contribution to the field of chemistry including the development of the modern system of chemical symbols and the determination of atomic weight uh, he also discovered several chemical elements such as silicon selenium thorium cerium his work laid the foundation for the development of the periodic table of elements now let us move with the uh, another scientist who contributed for the periodic table that is a uh, john dobrenner so as we all know that john dobrenner had contributed as he has he was the first who had you know uh, put the elements into the particular patent so john dobrenner was a german chemist who made significant contribution to the development of periodic table so as we know he had discovered discovered the law of triads so as like we had seen Uh, if we will make the average of um, atomic weight of calcium and barium so it comes around the strontium so like that he had made certain arrangement of uh, elements in the triads so this was the first atom someone had made to make arrangement of the elements in the form of you know columns or or any kind of group the next contributions is much important because uh, it was the first attempt to make it in some kind of patent or you can say a cylindrical uh, patent so it is of the kankotois so the kankotois was a french geologist and mineralogist and uh, kankotois created a system where he arranged the element in a helix or screw like pattern wrapped around a cylinder this arrangement was based on atomic weight with similar element placed vertically along the helix so this was the you know uh, we can say a first kind of periodic table as we had uh, you know observed into the slide but the its periodic table was so complicated and it's difficult to understand so it haven't got that much of you know recognition the uh, you know another contribution and it is also much important contribution as we know because at that time there are number of uh, elements were come to know uh, to the world so it was the john newlen and he was the english chemist so what newlen had did he had made the law of octaves where he arranged the non elements in order of increasing atomic weights he noticed that every eight element had similar property similar to the musical octaves like however newlen's law had limitation as it did not account for all non elements at that time and so his patent is not you know come to more recognition and as the number of elements were increased time by time so the law of octaves was not uh, uh, kept steady up to the all the elements now the next is about the lothal meyer so lothal meyer has give the you know much contribution towards the modern periodic table he was a german chemist and and lothal meyer and dimitri mendeleev independently published a periodic table of the element around the same time in 1869 so meyer's periodic table was based on the periodicity of properties such as atomic volume and valence and it's arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic weight His table was quite similar to Mendeleev's in term of its layout and organization but Mendeleev's table gained more widespread acceptance and recognition so 
Uh, Mayo's periodic tables also have included gaps for undiscovered elements and predicted their properties based on his strengths and, uh, and his uh, uh, work along with the Mendeleev's laid the foundations for the modern periodic table. The next one is uh, uh, from the slide we can say it was about atomic volume and atomic weight. So Lothal Muir was the first who arranged the periodic table like that way but uh, in Eric Carey's book, it was written that somehow his periodic table was misplaced by the publisher. It was published quite late, and uh, and in, in the same time when the Dimitri Mendeleev has published uh, a few days before to him, so his periodic table got quite more recognition, and uh, and uh, you know it uh, come in in a year around 1895 where is his proper periodic table of Lothal Mayer. So more of the contribution goes into the part of uh, uh, Dimitri Mendeleev. So if you will see uh, Dimitri Mendeleev's periodic table, so we all know that Dimitri Mendeleev's periodic tables has uh, you know uh, lots of uh, advantages and as he had guesses the places of unknown element also. So Dimitri Mendeleev is known as the father of modern periodic table and his periodic table have uh, you know uh, all the facilities or we can say arrangement uh, according to the properties and he also had guesses the position for the unknown elements. So here we can see the Mendeleev's periodic table and in the Mendeleev periodic table how he arranged the elements as per the property that we can see. The next one is a Henry Moseley. You might have heard about the name of Henry Moseley. So Henry Moseley was a British uh, scientist and Henry Moseley made a significant uh, contributed contribution to the periodic table by arranging elements based on their atomic numbers rather than their atomic weight. This works provided a more accurate and logical arrangement of elements, filling gaps and predict, uh, predicting the existence of new elements. Mosley experiments with extra spectra of elements lead to the discovery of the concept of atomic number. Unfortunately, Henry Mosley's life was tragically cut short during World War I. He joined the British Army during the war and was serving as a technical officer in the Gallipoli campaign in Turkey. On August 10, 1915, Moseley was fatally shot by a sniper while in action. His, uh, ultimately, his untimely death at the age of 27 was great loss to the scientific community. But his contribution to understanding the structure of the atom and the arrangement of element in the predictable lie on a crucial part of the scientific history. So, uh, Glenn T. Seaborg, there we all know that so after co-discovering the 10 new elements in 1944, he moved 14 elements out of the main body of the periodic table. So as we know that the most of the transuretic elements were discovered uh, that, that it has a major you know, role of Glenn T. C. box. So now we had seen the expanded periodic table uh, where the most of the techniques or we can say the elements were discovered by the Glenn T. C. box such as Averisium, Curium, Berkelium. Thank you.